After 75 years of the establishment of the State of Israel, the United Nations is set to commemorate Nakba Day next week, a day that Palestinians traditionally mark as a day of catastrophe over Israel's establishment. Israel has called on UN member states to boycott the event, the first of its kind in the United Nations. And so far, the United States and the United Kingdom will likely not attend, according to a report in the Jerusalem Post. On May 15th, immediately after the establishment of the State of Israel, Arab armies attacked the newly founded Jewish state. However, they were unsuccessful and Israel arose victorious from its war of independence. Now, the Palestinians are pushing to normalize and commemorate this day internationally as a catastrophe that the State of Israel was even founded. Israeli Ambassador to the United Nations Gilad Erdan said that Israel will not be pressured by the slanderous campaign to rewrite history. He called on all UN members who support peace not to attend the anti-Semitic event. And not just in the United Nations, but far-left American Palestinian Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib from Michigan will host a Nakba Day event with anti-Israel groups in the U.S. Capitol building on Wednesday. The event, titled Nakba 75 and the Palestinian People, aims to paint the Palestinians as victims of what Tlaib deems Israeli apartheid, rather than as the aggressors following the establishment of Israel. A description of the event states that 75 years ago, Zionist militias and the new Israeli military violently expelled approximately three quarters of all Palestinians from their homes and homeland in what became the state of Israel. This marks the Congresswoman's latest effort to provide a platform for radical and anti-Israel organizations, many of which have signed on to co-sponsor the event and in an attempt to rewrite history.